Today we're going to be discussing how to dance promenade position with a beautiful shape. There's a lot of common problems that happen when couples try to dance promenade position, so we'll be going through a few of those today. In our last video, we spoke to you guys about how to take up hold with your partner. In that video, we spoke about closed position. Now, closed position is the most basic position and the most common position that we use in boring dancing. Our understanding of promenade position is actually that it's very similar to closed position. But if you haven't seen that last video, please go watch that one because it will help you to know exactly what position you want to be in before we change the position. The first thing that it's very important to know about promenade position is that we actually don't want to change our bodies too much from closed position to promenade position. And the, the main reason why this is the case is because if we've already worked very hard to set up a beautiful correct position with our partner and that we fit together we don't want to lose that we don't want to become less beautiful and we don't want to make our line or shape look worse so there's only subtle changes that we do to get from closed position to promenade position before we actually get into that we're just going to quickly discuss some of the common mistakes that we see in couples that try to dance promenade position but maybe don't 100 percent nail it so what are the main differences between closed position and promenade position? The shoulder line actually remains the same, meaning that my upper body, so from my ribs and my shoulders and this part of my body is facing my partner as it was in closed position and the same thing for the lady. Absolutely. So if we do this, if we're going to take up promenade position to move towards the camera, if we are in closed position, my hips and my shoulders are facing my partner. Now if I wanted to turn to promenade position and I turned my whole body like this until this is now done the same, this is going to cause big big problems. Okay, so what we yeah. want to do is that from the closed position we actually want to turn our feet and our head but we want to keep our upper body towards our partner. That's it. So this is better. This one is not good. One of the biggest common mistakes I see in um, in couple of dancing promenade position is exactly that. They forget to keep the, the parallel lines of the shoulders and they tend to, uh, sometimes the, this side tends to stay facing each other, which is great, but they'll compensate by these the lady's left shoulder and the man's right shoulder coming forward. So it's very, very common. I'll show you what it looks like when we're doing it incorrectly. So we go into promenade position and the, this side keeps turning. So if we drop our hands, you might be able to see more correctly. There's distortion here in our shoulders. What we really want if we stop there is our shoulders back into parallel. It's just my feet and my head that have moved into promenade position. Another very common problem that we see is actually in the movement of the frame. So, like we just discussed, that we want to keep our upper bodies in the same position as closed position, the arm line position is exactly the same as well. So, in our previous video, we discussed in closed position that it's very important that my left elbow and Talissa's left elbow stay connected to the body uh, and in line with the shoulders. Now it's the same thing in promenade position. So what we comment, what we often see is that the man when he turns to promenade position, if this is the correct position of my left arm, actually moves the left arm out of position in an attempt to lead the lady to promenade position. So this is too much activity. So I'll show you what that looks like. So we're just in closed position first. Now if I want to turn to promenade position and I want to open the lady, I've now used my arm to, to do that and we actually have not achieved a very beautiful shape. So we'll try that one more time. And my left arm stays basically where it is and now this is a much more beautiful line and a promenade shape. 
One of the third common problems that we see uh, in our dances, uh, specifically for the lady, is that there um, is an issue with the lady's head. So a lot of the ladies, um, while we need to be very active and accurate in what we execute ourselves, we cannot anticipate the direction that we are moving. So a lot of uh, times I see lady dancers dance a promenade position and their head is uh, quite upright and often it is too far forward. It is the thing moving the couple in the direction of the promenade position um, and that's not what we want. So I'll show you what that looks like when we dance it incorrectly. The lady dances her head incorrectly. I'm in a perfect closed position and when I get to promenade I'm moving my head and I'm very upright and this is not the beautiful shape that we want to be in. If I put myself in the correct position you can see here that I am, we drop that arm so you can just see my head, uh, you can see that my head is back in the correct quadrant, I'm not going past where the center line of the couple is, I'm in that quadrant and I'm extending from my breastbone out as far as I can. It's very important for the lady um, in getting her extensions to oppose the energy going towards the man. So my back is constantly working towards my man and my head can only go as far back as that resistance, yes? So my head goes back, goes back and my as my body goes forward. I can't just pull the head back and I don't want it to be upright. So it's that perfect balance. Now it's time for the last common mistake that we see. Up until this point, if you've ticked off all of the mistakes that we've currently addressed, you should now be able to achieve quite a beautiful promenade position with your partner. Now, that's only half of it because once you've achieved a beautiful promenade position, we need to move in the same beautiful promenade position. Promenade position is actually a progressive movement. So we are moving in this position, not just staying still in this position. So once you've achieved this position, we must be moving out in promenade position. Now, this is where actually all the difficulty lies. So the common mistake is, if we are in promenade position here and we want to move in promenade position and we go forward, now you might be able to see that actually my left leg and Talissa's right leg are very close to each other. So if we are in a beautiful position here but our legs are too close to each other, when it comes time to moving, <laughs> it's very difficult. Impossible. And you, can, and you can see straight away we've lost our shape. Okay, so when we had before quite a tight uh, center area and then a slightly bigger, more open upper body, we've now inverted that. So because we didn't have the space to take this step, we've actually tried to create space in the lower part of the body, but we've actually lost our shape. So it's very important that when we dance promenade position that the man actually tries to open I'm sorry, sorry, move a little bit further away from the camera. That as the man, I try to move slightly open. Maybe that's too much, maybe here. And the lady will do the same thing. Now you can see that now this might look a bit too extreme. How are we going to stay together? It's actually quite slight. So if we are in promenade position, we both slightly open the legs. Very nice. And now we can take another step in promenade position and not change the shape. The key there is really making sure that we have a slight V action of our outside legs cr that creates the space for our back swinging leg to move through and pass the partnership. Yeah, so that second step is actually the most difficult step in promenade position. I hope that's given you some good ideas on how to create a beautiful shape for our promenade position. Uh, while we've taught you about the common mistakes that we see uh, people, people execute when uh, dancing their, their promenade position, it's important to really focus on the tips that we've given to not achieve those. So don't try to, when you're practicing these, don't try to think, am I making that mistake? 
just try to think about the tips that we've said. So there's a couple here, making sure that we stay parallel to our partner, making sure that we are, what was the second one? <laughs> keeping our arms connected to our body. Absolutely, no forward arms, keeping our, our arms connected, making sure that we have that head extension for the lady not moving forward, and make sure that you V that first step in promenade position. If you've enjoyed watching this video and you've found some of our information useful, then please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in the next video where we'll be covering some more important tips on board dancing.